Yo, what's your spot with KJ? We back with another reaction video. No cat today. We got True Stranger Horror Story Animated, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro. Before we get into the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Do not be scared, bro. It's just a video. You know what I'm saying? It might be true, but it's just a video. You know what I'm saying? You can get right into the video, though. No cat, bro. A stranger. I will never forget Wait. this. A strange man tried to kidnap me. I will never forget this horrible incident that I've been through. One sunny day, I was walking around the town just to do a little bit of exercise. Mm -hmm. Then I saw this man who wore a leather hat, a white shirt, and ripped jeans. I usually walk alone, so I was nervous at that time. The man tried to make simple talk with me, asking for my name and my number. What the fuck? You but he seemed to be a little bit off somehow. Since I didn't have anything except my phone and my ring, which was a gift from my grandpa, I never suspected he would rob me. He then creepily smiled and asked, Can I escort you to your house? No, it's what? okay. I can walk by myself. Thank you, I replied. It's not that easy for me to trust a person, especially since I've gained weight these past few years. He then told me that he wanted to show me something in the back of his car. In the Philippines, I know some YouTubers make these kinds of hidden camera content. I knew this guy was acting a little bit suspicious. This nigga thought he was on a prank show, bro. Then oh thought my maybe God. he was one of the YouTubers or something. Once I followed him to the back of his trunk, this he nigga told stupid. me that he would just open it up. While I was waiting for it to be opened, I this... heard a few screams coming from the trunk of his car. Holy fuck. I was confused. There was a button under the car, so I opened the trunk. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. There were two girls and one boy inside his car. I quickly ran up to the man, punched him oh, so okay. in the face, okay. and yelled at him. Why yes, do sir. you have all these people in your car? There we go. Why are they tied up? Yes, sir. The man told me that he wanted to sell their organs because what he wants to fuck? get some drugs. Just then, I oh, shit. So oh, shit. Him in oh, his face shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. When he finally collapsed, I hurried to get the two girls and the boy. W out of the fucking trunk. person, bro. I would have probably they after were excited to get out, and I asked what happened to them. You didn't call a cops yet? I ain't like, three of us walking, and this man came up and told us that he has a lot of Xbox games in the back of his car. Triangle, I'm not even PlayStation games, but Xbox games, bro. Oh, my God. After we followed him, we realized that it was a trap. I ended up calling the cops. Thank you, bro. After dialing the number, I felt like it was an eternity waiting for them. They finally arrived after about 30 minutes. That's crazy. 30 after minutes, bro? That's terrible, to them bro. that he tried to kidnap us, he eventually got arrested. It turned out the guy was also high on drugs at the time. A few days have passed. I was awarded a medal from the police. And those two girls and the boy that I rescued became my friends. The man was sentenced to 37 years in prison for trying to commit murder and kidnapping. It's so lucky for us that we're still alive. What would have happened if I didn't fight back? What would have happened if I just followed the guy's words? I would have been a dead corpse. Hey, bro, that's why you never listen to strangers and stuff. Don't be, you know what I'm saying? Don't be stupid, you know what I'm saying? Be smart all the time. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it for watching, but no cap, you know what I'm saying? Hope you enjoy it, no cap.